back to the toy man's bar and grill we're gonna do some lamb chops up today on the grill these are nice lamb shoulder arm chops really nice look at that eh? mm. now look at the price just for two chops almost ten bucks all right we're gonna open up the package get them on the plate and then we're gonna add some spices to them or one spice I should say not spicy is a spice we're gonna spice it up a little bit and, uh, trying to do this with one hand all right there you go Get myself a fork. Now these do have, there's a bone here in the lamb chop. And there's a bit of a bone along there. A little bone here. A little bit of a bone there. But these are really, really nice chops. Uh, nice lamb. Oh, yeah. Nice and thick, too. So they're pretty thick chops. All right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to add a little uh, uh, Greek spice to them. Not a whole lot. But, uh, just enough. Just a little shake here in there. That'll be about enough. Just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to turn the chop over. And do the other side. And now we're going to let this soak in for about half hour before we put them into the grill. All right. So, there we go. Now, I've done lamb chops with rosemary and Italian. And also this Greek spice, too. They come up really good. So, there we go. We'll head over to uh, Go Fish Office, over to her, and see what she is doing for an entree or side just or or dessert we'll find out exactly what she's going to do to go with the lamb chop so we'll go over there and see what's happening thank you toy man get a large pot put some egg yolks in then add some sugar and salt and mix it very well we don't want any clumps we want it nice and smooth Then add some milk and mix some more. Add some heavy cream and then we are going to boil this. Thanks for saying it back to me, Go Fish. Uh, I'm now is what I'm doing is preparing the uh, baked potato that's going to go along with it. And basically, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. So basically, when you do baked potatoes and wrap them up tin foil, you want to uh, stab them uh, with a nice little fork, uh, poke holes in them. That way, they don't explode when you're cooking them. So, put the camera around. So basically, you take your fork in, and you stab it in like so, and then pull it back out. Of course, I'm trying to do this with a tripod. And just stick it in poke holes all around the potato then wrap it up in tin foil like this so everything will be going on the grill shortly uh, we will back over to uh, go fish office and see how she's making out uh, with what she's doing so back to you go fish thank you so much here's our hot egg mixture we are going to add some orange extract and of course mix it so it distributes throughout the whole mixture. And now we have this lovely orange food coloring to color this beautiful custard into an orange color. And of course we're going to mix, mix, mix until it's nice and orange. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Well now we'll go back to Toy Man's Bar and Grill. Thank you Goldfish Office for handing it back. Uh, we've got the potatoes on now. And uh, got those cooking on the grill. As you can see here, they're right there. We got, we're gonna cook these first. And then uh, we are going to put the lamb chops on the grill. When the potatoes are almost done. The lamb chops are looking good. 
here are the lamb chops. The spices are, or I should say the spice, the Greek spice that I did is soaking in nicely, which is going to be very good. And then we'll get those on the grill uh, shortly, as soon as the uh, baked. So we'll go back to uh, Goldfish office and see how she's making out. So go fish. There you go. It's all yours. Thank you so much. First we're going to have some water and a little sugar and we're going to boil that. Once that is done, we add some butter and we're going to mix and mix and mix. Once that is complete, we are going to add a little milk and we will mix that well too. And then there is more to happen in a little bit. But first, let's go back to Toyman's Bar and Grill. Thank you, Goldfish Office, for handing it back to me. We're going to uh, chuck the potatoes now uh, to see if they're done. So we're going to use uh, this little thing here. So we're just going to probe into the potato and see how they're doing. <clears throat> so when we do that, basically, we're gonna flip these back over, like so. And then we're just gonna probe into the potato. And we're only gonna stab it once. Okay. You take your little skewer, stick it in, and we're just probing. See how soft that potato is? That one's pretty much almost done. We'll, do to, we'll go to the next one. Slide it in. Yeah, that one's almost done. Then go like this. And just slowly slide it in. If it feels nice and soft, you know the potatoes are almost done. If you can feel a little roughness, you know the uh, potatoes are not quite done yet. So these two are good. Uh, we're going to do the next one. Go in. Oh, yeah. It, it goes in nice and easy. Yeah. That's nice. And then, of course, we do this one here. Oops. And there we go. Boom. And so the potatoes are almost done. They go in, it goes in nice and easy. Uh, I feel no roughness, but we're going to cook these for another five minutes on here, and then guess what? We're going to put the lamb chops on because we're going to move these from here down to the front of the grill, and then we're going to cook our lamb chops. So, we'll hand it back to uh, Go Fish Office and see how she's doing with uh, what she's making to go with the lamb chops and the baked potatoes. All right, over to go fish office. Thank you, Toy Man's Bar and Grill. I am now going to add some anise extract and black food coloring. And of course, mix it a whole bunch to make it nice and black. Thank you. Thank you, Goldfish Office, for handing it back to me. Guess what? It's time to put the uh, chops on the barbecue. So we're walking outside, getting two orders to grill. And we're going to put the lamb chops on the barbecue. And uh, I'm just going to close my uh, patio door. Uh, seeing as how we got the air conditioning on, it's hot and humid. But anyway. All right, we're going to flip the camera around. There are those beautiful looking lamb chops that are going to go on the grill. So what we're going to do first is uh, move the potatoes off the top rack. And we're going to put them forward on the bottom rack. And we're just going to flip them this way. So this is where we're moving the potatoes to. Because uh, it's not very, very hot at the front of the grill. The majority of the heat is focused to the back. So we're just going to put these. This one doesn't want to cooperate. Stay there. All right. Got to cooperate. All right. Now, we're going to take these nicely seasoned chops and put them on the grill. 
I'm not used to these thongs. These thongs are a little bit different. My other ones are dirty, so this is the only pair of tongs I've got left. I haven't used these all that good, so, so it's, it's kind of there we go. And then we'll flip that over. Get these on the grill. And then we'll close that lid up. Alright, come on. Sideways. Thank you. I like to get the grill marks in there and stuff. So. Alright. Uh, when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll flip them over. And then after that, we'll probably be done in plating and uh, seeing what's happening. We'll take some still pictures and uh, you can see uh, the finished product um, from me. Like I said, for me and go fish office. So stay tuned. Don't go away. More good stuff to come. Back at you there, go fish office. Thank you, Toy Man's Bar and Grill. Here I'm taking scoops of that orange ice cream that has been in the freezer to harden a little more. And then I am putting some licorice flavoring, just drizzling that over top. It's, it's basically in layers, so I do a couple scoops of ice cream, and then I drizzle a little bit of licorice flavoring uh, to ribbon it throughout the ice cream. And you just go back and forth until you run out of ice cream. You will have leftover licorice um, solution, and you just set that aside for something else. Once you're complete, then you put it back in the freezer to let it harden all the way. Back to you, Toy Man's Bar and Grill. All right, thanks for hand, handing it back to me, Go Fish Office. We flip the uh, lamb chops over. They've been cooking for a little bit, not for too long. But we're going, oh yeah, look, look how nice they're starting to turn out. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Oh yeah, look at the grill marks that are in there. Really, really, really nice. Uh, the next time we come back, we will be plating and serving. And uh, the baked potatoes are doing really good. But uh, look at how sucky with these things. And they're smelling really good. All right, so we'll go back to Go Fish Office to see how she's making up with uh, what she's doing. So, back to you, my dear. Thank you, Toy Man's Bar and Grill. My ice cream has hardened overnight, and now I'm going to scoop it out and put it into a dish to eat. Now I put the scoop into some hot water so it makes it easier to get the ice cream out. By the way, this is called Tiger Tails Ice Cream. It's got that orange and black licorice taste, and a little secret here. This happens to be Toy Man's Bar and Grill's favorite ice cream. So of course I had to try to make it. Isn't that looking so good? It tastes wonderful. If you like black licorice, you will love this dessert. Back to you, Toy Man's Bar and Grill. All right, thanks for handing it back to me, Golden the show. It's time to take everything out. All right, we're gonna take the baked potatoes off the grill first. And then we're gonna take the uh, lamb chops off. We'll go inside and we'll get everything plated. Uh, excuse the fingers sometimes because I don't have a phone holder, so I have to transfer everything. There we go. All right, so the baked potatoes are done. Get my finger out of the way. I'll take these off the grill. And I guess you can see I got a bowl here. We'll get those in, and then we'll get these inside. You can see how the nice the lamb chops are, are looking. Oh yeah, look at that. Those guy look good. Alright, we'll put those on that plate. When we come back, everything will be plated and uh, yeah, make you all drill. So there we go. We'll be back in a bit. Here's our complete meal. Lamb, a side of potatoes, and tiger tail ice cream. This is just wonderful. I hope you try. Thank you. 